Hello there. This uh, video has been one I've been wanting to make for a while. If you read the title, I'm making Birken skates. Uh, let's get to it. So, I got my Birken stocks. They're, they're not real Birken stocks, they're too expensive um, to be cutting, drilling holes in to see how this will work. So, they're these cheap plankton ones from TK Maxx, but same difference, isn't it? And, I got my old plates in here, uh, which I'm going to screw onto the bottom of these. So here in my box, I've got these Playmaker plates. They've currently got wide trucks on them from a penny board from that video. Um, but I've got this little bag of the old Playmaker ones, and I'll be putting those on first. To go with, I've got these little mounting plates for them. I don't think I'm gonna use those. I bought these ones for a skateboard instead from Independent. They're long, uh, inch, and, inch and a half bolts. Uh, so I hope they'll go through the whole shoe and into the plate. Uh, and I don't know if we're gonna get around to using these today, but we've got these, uh, these corks. We've got these corks with the idea of sort of covering the top of the bolt heads. First thing I'm going to do is take off these big trucks and put on some smaller trucks. That's the Playmaker uh, trucks back on. And I've just counted out these independent trucks, independent bolts, hardware. I've got eight, it will fit nicely. The next thing is to work out how these are gonna mount up. But yeah, I reckon I want it about the same size, same either side of the heel, that's at the middle of the heel. And I want it over the ball of my foot at the front. So I think I want it to line up in the center with about with this. So it's gonna look something like that. I've already realized that there's a, they've got a bit of curve on them. So they're gonna wanna sit up from the shoe. However, the bolt points on them, if I can get them all to. So if I push down them, if I put the bolts in here and put the bolts in here, they should sit flat. Just picked up this small screwdriver to help pry out some of the old pivot cups. But I think it'll work nicely to Oh, I should have left these off, shouldn't I? <laughs> um, I think it worked nicely just to make an impression where I want those holes to be. Yeah, there they are. So we've got one here, one here, one over here, one over here. Um, I reckon I'm going to go put some, put a drill through them. Let's see what happens. Right, we're back in the garage in, again camera after a long time and I'm gonna make use of this bench vise. This might be a bad idea. Yes, yeah, so I'm not gonna make bench with the use of the bench vise. What I'll do maybe. Cool. Alright, let's try not to drill into it. Just grab this four millimeter metal drill bit. Um, I don't have any drill bits made for shoes. Um, tossing up between that and wood, but I find that this one just leaves less tear outs. So I found the four millimeter because it roughly matches the shape of this. It's actually slightly smaller, but the thread should sort of push it through to the right sort of shape. And then let's put this into the shot. Let's just start drilling. Most of the way shoot through there, it doesn't want to go through the actual sole, so I'll tack that from the other side. Same story there. <laughs> See the cork coming out. Um, I've tried to drill them as straight as possible, but that doesn't really matter. They come through the other side. Nice, we're through. Right, let's see if we can get one of these bolts through. I have a feeling it's going to be very tight because they look tiny, these little holes. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go up a size. So that's... Oh, I've got a 4.5. So go slow and steady. We're going up by half a mil. They're looking pretty good. Um, I might even have to cut some of this bolt off, it looks really long. All right, I'm gonna return and see if that plate mounts up. Right, got one bolt in there. Just chuck all four in. And I reckon it'll, they'll pull themselves into the sole of this shoe quite nicely. It's not gonna be the most comfortable um, sandal, but these weren't when I got them anyway. Um, so yeah, I reckon that head's just gonna pull itself 
So, and I went in to countersink it. Oh, another one through. <laughs> they look quite straight, these holes that I've drilled, but I'm sure they'll figure themselves out. Otherwise I'll make them bigger. I think that'd be quite, quite like pliable. <laughs> I reckon that's pretty good. Um, let's put some of these guys on, tighten them up and see what happens. Found this in the garage. No, I don't think I've ever actually used one of these before. Never really had a reason to, but this should make it a lot quicker. <laughs> yeah, no wonder it's not doing anything. It's just thinning on top, if you can see that. But I did think about this, and I bought a screwdriver in with me too. Right, that'll do it. Nice fit. I like that little driver. Uh, right, it's not going any further than that with the drill. Oh well. When you're going deep enough, they push themselves off, but it's all right, we'll do it the old fashioned way. But they're sinking into it great. Almost too well. I want to get some more suede to cover these up. I can just hold this. I think that's one Birkenscape made. This needs some wheels. And the other one. Let's put it on my face and see what happens. Nor these socks, they, they're not very clean. They just came looking dirty because of the pattern. I don't think about that one at all. Oh yeah, nice. That's a Birkenscape there. I can't feel the bolts either, so. Happy days, I won't have to get that cork out. Cork. Um, right, well, time to make the other. Where have I put it? So I've got to try and match these up, really. Um, I'm just going to do it by eye. That can go in there. Try and put the trucks on already, but we learn. Oh, this one's firmly had this. Thought and effort put into it. <laughs> I'm gonna put these in and just make sure that they all register with each other before I start drilling. Yes. Questionable. Yes. More or less. Cool. I'm gonna go drill them. I'm not gonna film it. I've got two. And this is the first time I'm looking at them properly, but they look like they're more or less similar. Um, I'm not sure my placement's quite spot on. But yeah, it's fine. Um, I've got to figure out some wheels for these now. So I've got those little Sim Street snakes which are sitting around somewhere. I'm gonna go find them, see, if, see what I can do about bearings because those better bearings were shit, so I'm low on bearings. Let's get these wheeled up. I've found some bearings. Now, they're all created equal and they look like they've been stored equal. So the penny board I had bought, I think had been stored outside because they're all a bit, they're a bit rusty. But look, they still spin, great. So I'm gonna use them, I'm not gonna clean them. Fuck it. Um, and they've even got some spacers with them, which I hope are the right size. So start getting these pressed in. Mm, I'm keep going, I think the spacers might be too big, too much to go without them. God, even this, this one's orange with rust, and it still spins better than the pennies, than the those best, better bearings. Better in name, not by nature. I think I would go without spaces. Be right. I'm going to take this out. There we go. Right, that's all of them on. They're not on that nicely. Um, but they'll get pressed in when I tighten up these bolts on about a 13 for this. Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> Those petty ones go well. Well, that's two experimental Birkin skates, sort of completed. So yeah, I'm not sure they're going to be the most efficient skates, but let's go give them a quick try out on the road outside. 
when I put on. Oh, my Birkin skates. These feel so, they feel dangerous already. Put a foot on the ground. Oh, oh God. <laughs> you know what, they don't feel too bad. Well, this is weird. Um, I also haven't bought a skate tool, so I can't change these trucks at all. They're just, they're as wobbly or as tight as I put them on. They're not turning any different. Let me show you how they look. <laughs> they look ridiculous. I can't stop. They keep coming off. This one sort of, I think this, I've drilled the left foot a little bit wrong. So it's a little bit to the left quite obvious right here. So I always want to, because of where my foot is, it always slightly wants to turn left. That one's coming off now. <laughs> I'm gonna set the camera down so you can sort of get a proper view. Hey, they're not too bad, unless I'm making them look good. Cool. But this definitely takes some getting used to. They want to fall off, they want to slip around, they want to rotate on your foot. So I'm definitely less capable on these than I am on my foot. That little... I got a sort of approach that's completely differently, I think. Yeah, maybe that's normal. I'm struggling with that for a sec. That's fine, I can't do that on my boot. What do you know? Right, I hope it's possible to see me almost falling off because of these. Like, wee, you really grifty on your toes. But it does, I reckon it does open me up for at least a new trick. Let me show you. Oh yeah, and that's, that's just happened when I tried to stop. I'm fine, but. <laughs> that's better. Right. new trick. On, but I didn't do that on purpose. That wasn't just for the, for, for the tube. I'm gonna take these home for today because I got work to do and I don't want to break my wrist. So I'm gonna walk down the hill and there's no way I'm skating these. Um, yeah, maybe I'll come back and do another video with, or do a bit more on the video later with some adjustments. Yeah, if you look at these from the top though, you can see that this one here has got, well, I can just about see the bevel on the wheel. And then this one here from the top, you can see much more of the wheel. I reckon it's probably about as little as half a centimeters difference, but it feels like it makes quite a big difference as to where your weight is over the plate. So this left foot is constantly trying to steer that way because of where my weight is naturally positioned. And this right foot, is always, well, the right foot's about right. The other thing is I haven't, I think this one's tight, this truck's tight, this truck's loose. These ones feel loose and I normally like them, but that seems about right for these. Um, so yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna take them home and make some adjustments. And then I don't know if I'll make another video after I've adjusted them to see what they're like, or if I'll just tack it onto the end of this. But right now I'm getting back to work, so. I'll catch you either after a cut or on the next video. One more thing before I go. Um, if you could share this with anyone that might find it amusing or funny, uh, then I'd be so grateful. <laughs> I'll keep that. <laughs>